In this video, I'm going to show you several easy ways to export audio from DP. The techniques I'm about to demonstrate will allow you to export audio from DP into any other DAW software. In this session, I have audio tracks, MIDI tracks, and a Mach 5.3 virtual instrument track. I'll go to the sequence editor and zoom out to look at the background vocals. I'll zoom in and you can see I've done a number of edits here. If I look at the pitch automation view, you can see that there is some pitch editing that's been done. One last thing I'll do in the tracks is select all and go to the audio menu where I'll choose fade. I'll select the options to add 10 millisecond crossfades and fades. DP will apply fades to all the edit points within the selection. So now I have choices. I can use the lasso tool and make an object selection and just the sound bites are selected. I'll go to the audio menu and choose merge sound bites. DP makes new audio based on the soundbite selection. Merge includes all edit parameters that are bound to the soundbite itself. This includes soundbite volume, fades, crossfades, and pitch automation. I'll undo the operation and I'll zoom out so I can see the entire length of the two tracks. Now I'm going to make a region selection and select both tracks all the way back to the start of the sequence. Now I'll choose Merge Sound Bites, and DP will make new audio that includes the entire length of the selection, including any silence between the original sound bites. Notice that the name of the new sound bite is based on the name of the track. Now if I go and look in my project folder, and I open the Audio Files folder, there are the two audio files that I've just created with the merge. So those two audio stems are now ready to be imported into any other DAW software. The next track is the lead vocal. Now with the lead vocal, I've done some pitch automation. Also in the mixer, I've added some plug-in effects. There's an EQ and a leveler on the vocal track. So what I want to do is print a stem for the lead vocal track that includes not just the pitch automation, but also the plug-in effects. I'll select the lead vocal. Actually, I'll just select a region of the lead vocal that includes only the audio I need. I'm going to freeze this track. Freeze includes all edits, crossfades, pitch automation, soundbite volume, plugins, and any track automation. Essentially, Freeze includes every aspect of the track exactly as it sounds during playback. Now, I don't want to create stereo audio with the Freeze. I want a mono stem. So I'll change the output of the track to a mono destination. I'll go to the audio menu and choose Freeze Selected Tracks. Freeze is basically an automated record process. It works in real time. You can freeze multiple tracks at the same time and you'll get separate audio for each selected track. Freeze is a great way to render or print everything that's going on in one or more audio tracks to new audio files. As you can see, DP has set up a new audio track and bust the lead vocal to that track. The mono output of the lead vocal track is being recorded into a new mono freeze track. Once the freeze is done, you see the new track in audio. You see that the original track has been disabled. It's still in the sequence, so you can go back at any time and modify the original track if you need to do that. The freeze function also works for virtual instruments. I'm going to select one of the MIDI tracks and the Mach 5.3 instrument track. I'm going to make a specific selection that includes just the region where the MIDI track has data. Now when I choose freeze selected tracks, DP records the output of the instrument track to a new audio track. You can see that DP is only creating audio for the selected region. We can freeze audio tracks and instrument tracks with the same operation, and we'll get new audio for each of those tracks for that selected region. But I think for this example, I'm going to do something different. I'll cancel the freeze operation. I think what I want to do here is render all three MIDI tracks and their separate sounds to a single stereo audio track. Instead of separate audio for each instrument or audio track, I want to mix down or bounce multiple tracks to a single rendered audio file. So I'll select all three MIDI tracks in the instrument track, and I'll make the selection all the way back to the start of the sequence. This time I'll go to the File menu and choose Bounce to Disk. I have many options for file format in the Bounce window. I'll bounce to a stereo 16-bit file. I'll choose to add the bounced file back into the sequence as a new track. I'll name the new audio file Horn Mix, and down here we see the destination of the bounced file. I'll click OK, and DP will mix down or bounce the selected tracks and region. This includes everything in the selected tracks. Virtual instruments, plugins, automation, edits, crossfades, the whole bit. 
One nice aspect of Bounce to Disk is that it's faster than real time, so the new audio will be created quickly. Now the MIDI tracks and instrument track have been bounced to a new stereo audio file, which has been imported back into the sequence. We can take a look at the horn mix in the sequence editor. I'll zoom in on the waveform, and you can see the new horn mix sound bite. Now I go back to the project folder. In the bounces folder is the newly created horn mix. In the audio files folder, we see the lead vocal freeze track, as well as the merged audio from the background vocal tracks. It's also good to know that all these exported files all include their sympathy timestamps for easy location back into a different DAW. There are other ways to export audio from DP. I'll go to the sound bites window. I'll view by time created. There are the new sound bites I've just created via merge, freeze, and bounce. I'll select all the sound bites. I'll go to the sound bites window mini menu and choose convert audio file. The convert window allows me to change the sample rate bit depth and file format of the selected sound bites. I can also export multiple sound bites as a single operation. I have choices for the export file format. For example, perhaps I want to export D interleaved AIFF format so the stereo horn mix is separated into left and right files. We see DP doing the export operation for the four selected files. I'll go back to the project folder and you can see the newly created audio. View by date modified to find the most recent files. You can see that the stereo horn mix has been deinterleaved to left and right files. So that's a quick look at some powerful tools and options for exporting audio into other DAWs from DP8.